Hello, today we're going to make a multi-resolution ICO file in GIMP. Um, ICO files uh, can have multiple resolutions and then the operating system will pick the best one. Um, so using an ICO file for your website um, allows it to, if a user drags your website to their desktop, the operating system will you know, grab the, the best icon um, for, for the platform. Um, so let's get started. First thing, um, first thing we're going to do is um, open an image, and I'm working on this channel. And here are my logos that I've created. Um, in GIMP, we can open a PNG, we can open an SVG. I just need to make sure that it's it's larger than the the largest icon, you know that we're going to create. Um, and so I'm going to contain the resolutions. Um, I'm going to do 256 pixels by 256 pixels, and then 48 by 48, 32 by 32, and 16 by 16 in this ICO file. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open the SVG here with GIMP. And then I just need to make sure I open it larger than 256. All right. And the first thing for my ICO file, um, it's your ICO files uh, square 32 by 32 or you know 256 by 256 um, and when it's small you're not really going to be able to read text so I want to get this text out of here I'm just gonna have the penguin as my icon so I'm gonna get rid of that and then I need to convert this to a square so I'm gonna go to my crop tool here and I'm gonna set this to a fixed aspect ratio and I just need this to be one to one. And that's going to keep my crop tool um, to a square where I can't, I can't set it to any other aspect but a perfect square. And then I just want to center, center my image here. Actually, I think that was pretty centered before. OK, and crop this. And now this is cropped, but I can still see this yellow outline. And this yellow outline is my layer size. Um, so right now my layer size is bigger than my image size. So I'm going to right click on my um, layers down here and say layer to image size. And that just makes my layer size the same as my image size. Um, so now we're going to scale this image to our largest size, which is going to be 256. And so now that that's scaled, I am going to duplicate this layer and then scale the copy, scale layer. And next size I wanted was 48, so scale. And I'm going to go back to the original layer. And the reason I start with the original layer, duplicate layer, and then scale again, is because if you scale multiple times, um, anti-aliasing and, and such, um, it can lose quality every time you scale. So starting with the larger image and scaling that every time is going to give you the best quality. Um, so scale layer, and we're going to make this one 32. And then one more time, duplicate layer, scale layer, and make this one 16. And that's it. Now we've got all our all our resolutions, and we're going to go file export as and call this favicon. Dot ico. Export, and it gives you the option to do compressed PNGs. Um, I'm just going to do the largest one as a compressed. Compress PNG, um, export, and that's it. Um, now we have a multi resolution ICO file that we can use in our um, on our website. I hope this helped you make ICO files in GIMP. If it did, give me a like and uh, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss uh, future content. Thank you. Have a great day.